Hello all! In this video I will show how to set up Total Controller to manage remote location over the Internet. We have here a local computer running on Mac OS and a remote computer somewhere on the Internet running on Windows. And we need to set up Total Controller to connect to it and manage all network services which are available to manage. So we will move according to this plan. And the first step is to download and run Total Controller Manager on local computer. Let's go for this. Open Total Controller website. Go to Start Now, select Operation System of the local computer, which is Mac OS, and download it. So, extract downloaded zip and run Total Controller Manager. It should open control panel on default web browser. And now we need to sign up and log into it. Uh, we do not have an account yet, so we need to create it first. I already have testing email address. Submit. Now I need to activate created account by email. So I will open mail mailbox and receive activation email. Then click on an activation link. Account activated. Now I can return back to the Council panel to login. And this is a Council panel. The left, left side shows a list of remote locations which are available to manage. To add location to this list need to download uh, and then copy and run uh, the Total Controller Agent software. So we press download button to go for it. Now we need to select an operation system of remote location. We have Windows computer there. and generate and download an agent. It will be specific agent generated only for this account for security reasons. It will not work in any other accounts. So here it is. Next step is to send this file to the remote location and ask somebody there to run it. But for demo purposes my remote location today is a virtual, virtual machine running in virtual box. So I need to copy it into this virtual machine.
extract. And this is total controller again. Open it. And we see here how it starts, which components it creates one by one. The main component of total controller is port forwarding router. This component uh, allows to forward any port of remote computer to our local computer. And in particular these three ports remote console, remote desktop VNC and remote file manager. So, the next step is to set up this port forwardance in the control panel. Let's rename it to something remote office um, and what we should do now? Now we need to map each port of remote computer to one of available ports of local computer. But it actually much easier than it sounds. Just press at standard services and it's done. So what happened here? We see here that port 5900 now available as a port 1024 of our local computer. The same we see that port 2222 of remote computer is available as port 1026 of our local computer and port 8081 of remote computer which is file manager available as port 1027 of our local computer and it does mean uh, that to work with each of those remote services we can use these local ports and work with them like they are installed directly on our computer using any client software intended to work with those ports like for example VNC client or web browser uh, or console uh, and what is more total controller contains uh, integrated clients for these types of services for example it has integrated VNC client which we can run by pressing this open button And we are on a desktop of remote location. Now we can manage it as we want. Close here, close, open, and whatever we want. The same if we want to manage remote console, we can open remote windows console and this is remote windows console right in the browser 
the same file manager file manager is a web application so it will open in this browser default lo login and passwords are admin and this is a file system of our Windows computer for example this is my home folder on a remote computer I can download files from here and upload files remove open and so on so this is how integrated clients work but uh, we are not limited to integrated clients uh, we can even close this control panel completely go away from it and use any external software to work with uh, these ports for example we can use extern external VNC client uh, to connect to remote desktop of remote computer by connecting to this port of our own computer so for example I have here real VNC viewer and to connect to remote desktop I need to connect to local host and this port so to connect uh, to remote location I connect from local host to local host and I can manage this desktop as you may be understood this is great from security point of view because it's impossible to track this connection somehow on the internet because there are no addresses on the internet to track everything happens inside our local host nothing to connect to so and this is the end of the main part of our session now I will explain some additional features of Total Controller which are important and actually these features uh, is the reason why this software named Total Controller so uh, using this panel and this software we can connect not only to common services which started here we can connect any ports of remote location either manually or automatically so to connect any port manually we press add service button and enter which remote port to which local port to connect then we can select service type and give it some title and here is it now we can connect to remote web server of this remote location by connecting to port 1028 uh, in the browser but we do not have actually this service there so we just remove and even this is not all if remote location connected to some network there 
then we can connect to any host to any device of that network to any to anything that has an IP address so let's for example restart it in admin mode So, and now we can discover network. And it will discover all devices in that network, all their addresses. Then we can connect all those hosts. And then we can connect any ports of those hosts and manage them. It can be computers, routers, switches, networking printers, or even mobile phones, if they connected to the network by Wi-Fi, for example. But I will not do it right now, it's not necessary. So we arrive to the end of our session. You can read uh, much more about the features of the system using integrated help system. For example, this is about connection of remote hosts. And this is about connections of remote ports. You can also read much more information on our website. There are a blog section which has a foundational article about technologies that stand behind the total controller and about the main goal and the main problems which total controller intended to resolve. So visit our website, download and try total controller, read the articles subscribe to news, follow us on social networks and ask any questions in the chat. Have a nice day and looking forward to hear from you soon.